Previously on Epic Multiverse Annihilation, our heroes were being attacked by multiple new foes across the multiverse. The one who's been behind all of this commotion is none other than Lord Omniscience's counterpart and rival, Lord Omnipotence. We found out that the multiverse actually consists of two scepters rather than one. With that being said, Lord Omniscience has never disclosed to our heroes that he was not the only overseer of the multiverse. Lord Omniscience rules over the Alpha Sector, while Lord Omnipotence rules over the Beta Sector. We then found out that Lord Omniscience and Lord Omnipotence serve one being above all. His name is the Creator. He was responsible for creating the two overseers of the multiverse and allowed them to create reality together. The Creator has always favored Lord Omniscience over his counterpart, so he granted him seven universes to rule in his sector, and only gave Lord Omnipotence four. He, enraged with the fact that he has always been considered the second best, and put down by his master, has found a tear in space-time that was formed after the fight between Nyx and Viatar. This tear allowed beings from the polar opposite side of the multiverse to come over to the Alpha Sector. Since then, Lord Omnipotence has sent his henchmen to fight our heroes in order to create havoc across the entire sector. This was done in an attempt to frame Lord Omniscience into making the creator think that he has been doing a poor job of ruling his sector. This would lead him to be stripped of his powers and erased from reality. Out of all the minions that Lord Omnipotence has sent after the Alpha Sector, the ones called USB and Socialix have fallen. Meanwhile, we found out that Shadora has split from the group of heroes that she has teamed up with for two decades. She was then cornered by three of Lord Omnipotence's henchmen. Their motive is to kill her and hatch the World Egg with her Soul Stone, which can only be extracted after death. Despite them splitting up, Starsea decided to try to save Shadora. Ironically, their lifelong enemy, 75, will also be joining them to defeat a common foe. However, the heroes knew that their adventure was only about to get crazier. Everybody shut up. Don't you feel that presence? Familiar. Huh. Seems like we got company. I don't even think it's one guy. Seems like there are three of them approaching us. Orak! <laughs> You're alive! How? <laughs> and of course you brought your little buddies with you too. I'm not surprised that you'd inevitably team up with Commencer and Zelos. But that doesn't matter. You might have all grown in strength, but the intensive training we've done in the past 11 months has made our power skyrocket exponentially. It's been a while, hasn't it? You might all be wondering, how am I standing before you? Well, while you might have seen me perish, that wasn't actually me. The one you saw was merely just one of my hundreds of clones. You see, I am the true aura. I am the host. Now, you might ask, why am I trying to kill you? Well, it's because you all killed Viaton before I had a chance to. Commensa and Zalos are now my companions, and trust me, I won't make the mistake of turning my back on them as my clone did with Viatar. You don't think you can beat the five of us, do you? The five of you? Why, of course I can. They're not so tough! Come on, you guys! Let's beat him! Die! Pathetic! Yeah! Oh, Zelos! <laughs> Damn it! This mech was created by Normad before your dumbass student killed him. Mm. Oh? Does that anger you? How does it feel that you were once betrayed by the student you trusted with your life? You'd better watch your tongue 
before I rip it out myself, bastard. With this my full power! Yeah! <laughs> Just keep up already! You! Yeah! <laughs> Just die already! You will be the one who dies! <laughs> Perhaps you might be stronger than you were before, but truthfully, that doesn't matter! You make it sound as if we haven't grown in strength ourselves! There are no words to describe the hatred we have built toward the lot of you. It's quite a shame that you think we didn't prepare for this. <sighs> if you really think that's all it's going to take to defeat me, then you are sadly mistaken. You've truly pissed me off now. Brace yourselves for your demise. I Man, he really is strong! You fools stand no chance! What the? Spaghetti! There's... there's too many of them! Run! Run for your lives! Wait, are those reinforcements? What? No! Ah! Hey, yeah! Shadora needs your help. We'll handle it from here. Wait, what about you guys? We can't leave you here. Just shut up and go. Come back. I'm not done with you. We didn't wait 20 years for you to all run away. The multiverse is going to be annihilated at this rate, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's wrong, Kamori. Lord Omniscience banished us to the Outer Realm for directly disobeying his order of not producing any more offspring. Not you. As you know, we cannot leave this place as he has protected this realm with an explosive force field. Back when we had our original physical forms, we could easily survive an explosion like that. But he has reduced us to these bodies. You chose to stay with us but you didn't have to. You were given the freedom of leaving this realm whenever a moment like this came upon us. You and your brothers are prodigies, Kamori. Lord Omniscience knew that you three would have the power to take him down if you joined forces, which is why he refused to let us have any more kids. However, instead of erasing us from existence when he discovered that we have disobeyed him, he took it as a challenge. He chose not to erase us, but in turn, he banished the two of us to rot here for eternity. It might be difficult to track them down since you haven't seen them since they were babies, but it is still possible to sense their life energy. Now, escape this place. Find your brothers and save the multiverse. It's up to you, Kamori. What about you? I could never leave this place. It wouldn't just kill you, but erase you from existence for sure this time. You must, Kamori. You have to save your brothers and the multiverse! Do it for their former guardian, Weejar! Do it for us! Damn it! Fine, I'll do it. Goodbye, my parents. I love you. We love you too, Kamori. All right, I'm coming as fast as I can, Ouija and Gigi. You better get ready to start talking, you witch. Tell us all about your soul stone. My soul stone? I'd rather die than ever tell you about that! Who the hell are you? What the- Ah, uh, shut it, Chidora! You obviously need all the help you can get. I'm not happy about helping you either. But we know you need it to survive. Come on, let's go. Uh! Oh, look out behind you. Hey, you! You should be honored. 
as someone such as myself offers their assistance to such a pathetic ingrate like you. You're still dead. Ah, Starcy, I have heard much about you. You are one of the strongest beings in the entirety of the Alpha Sector of the Multiverse. You were the leader of the Star Force. That is, until your colleagues have died. Is that right? Well, why don't you join them in the afterlife? Die! <laughs> I'll just absorb your attack. Yeah. Thanks for the energy, jackass. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. No, exactly. I want to take my soul stone from me. It's because you want to hatch the world egg, isn't it? You three are the first ones to ever question my soul stone. It has been my lifelong secret, and I have been alive for millions of years. Now that you know that it exists, I have no reason to hide my true power from you. It's time to unleash the power within my soul stone and take you all out! I've never used it before, not even against my mightiest opponent, Viaton! You may have weakened me to a certain degree, but you're only beginning to scrape the surface of the unimaginable techniques that I can pull off. Here, check this one out! You may have been able to regain your powers, but that does not mean a damn thing! You will be the first to witness every ounce of energy that I have! Or DIE! So protectable! You must help Shaloma! Down. I had a feeling that you couldn't control my full power for too long. Now, where were we? Oh god, I am going to obliterate you with ease! Stop time! What the? We got the soul stone. Let's get the hell out of here! Shadora! You bastards killed her! You killed her! You will not escape alive! Die, all of you! I'm not going